Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing an everyday simple makeup routine. Um, this is a look that I wear all the time whenever I wanna throw on some makeup and not full face glam. It can be wearable for school, uh, running some errands, etc. And uh, if you wanna see how I create this makeup look for y'all, just keep on watching. Okay, so I already did my brows off camera and I used the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Okay, so first step I'm going to do is uh, apply concealer underneath my eyes. I do not wear foundation. I wash my face almost every day whenever I take a shower and uh, I just don't need to just apply a full mask and feel uncomfortable when I already have pretty nice skin. So I have this concealer that is pretty much the same color as my normal skin so it almost acts like a foundation if that makes sense so I'm gonna be applying some of this underneath my eyes and to blend it out I will use my new Real Techniques beauty sponge and yeah Then I sometimes take the concealer up toward my eyelids because I do have veiny eyes and it looks really random just to have like concealer here and discoloration right here. So I just take it up toward my eyelid and it changes the color a little bit. And next I'm going to be taking some setting powder to set the concealer. I'm going to be taking the e.l.f powder brush and the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and just brushing it ever so slightly on top of my eyelids and my face, mainly my T-zone because that's where I get the most oily and this powder is pretty good for keeping you matte most of the day. Especially at school when it's in the summertime and it's 115 and you're dying and your whole mask is just coming off. This powder is really good. Next, just to add a little bit more color to my face, I take the Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer and I take this Elf Flawless Concealer Brush and I just very, very lightly just tap it in there because this bronzer is so pigmented and I take it from my cheekbones down to about here. And just blend because the last thing you want is a line just daggering your cheekbone. <laughs> Sometimes if I want to have like a, a sharp jaw, I just take a little bit and add some of that underneath my jaw, my chin. <laughs> now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Take it just a little bit on the top of my forehead. <sighs> Next, after you clean off the same brush that you're going to use for this step, 
I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminator in the color Starlight. And this stuff is very pigmented. So you gotta be really careful. I'm gonna take this right here on top of my cheekbones and just create like a an L shape from your cheekbone to end of your eyebrow. See the glow already? <laughs> I love this stuff. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And sometimes if you're not wearing eyeshadow or whatever, you can just take a little bit underneath your eyebrow just to give a little shine and next put some on top of my nose and uh yeah just why not on the cupid spell next step is mascara uh but before i do that i'm gonna curl my lashes and I have a eyelash curler and since I don't wear false lashes the key for me is to clamp them five times blink blink and see I already got pretty long lashes and then I'm gonna take the Maybelline Lash Sensational and blink blink Blink, 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 blink. And now the other side. Blink, 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 blink. And see a total difference. And if you want to go super crazy, you can clean off your eyelash curler and do one more clamp just to really fan them out, but I'm gonna be nice to my eyes today. And for the last step is the lips. And I raved about this lipstick on my last video and I still stand by it. It is the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ashton. And the key to liquid lipsticks is to exfoliate. Many beauty gurus rave and rave about if you want your liquid lipstick to be flawless, you gotta exfoliate. And I, I believe that 120% because it dries matte and the last thing you want is to not have a smooth lip and it looks super crusty and you won't be cute. So I exfoliate. <laughs> Okay, so now that my lips have dried, um, I think that's pretty much it for this makeup tutorial. If you wanted to go a little bit crazy, you can add some eyeliner on your on top of your lid, or you can go in with a pencil liner in your waterline or whatever. Um, sometimes if I want to go crazy and I didn't get much sleep last night, I take a white eyeliner just to brighten up my eyelids and I put it underneath my bottom lash line.
And I don't do bottom lashes sometimes because I do blink a lot and I do rub my eyes and it gets total raccoon <laughs> underneath my eyes and I would have to totally refix my concealer and everything. So I just kind of pass on uh, uh, putting mascara underneath your bottom lashes. So other than that, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, simple makeup look and um, I have many uh, further videos planned for the following week. I have finally gotten my Xbox One to cooperate and I should be coming along with a stream for you guys. And uh, if you wanna go add me on Xbox, it is the Atomic Merp, same name, same spelling as my YouTube channel. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, if you want further content, just subscribe below, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.